Welcome to Formal Mathematics DLP Chapter 1 Rational Number Subtopic 1.4 Positive and Negative Decimals Shall we start? Alright, in this lesson we are going to learn how to represent positive and negative decimals on number line and then we are going to learn how to compare and arrange positive and negative decimals in ascending and descending order all right you have already learned that towards the left of zero is negative and towards the right of the zero is the positive integers Okay, so this is the same for decimals. So we are going to place the following numbers. So remember that for negative decimals, it will be on the left side. And for the positive decimals, it will be on the right side. So in this given number, on the number line, there is already 0 indicated as well as 0 0.8. So from 0 to 0 0.8, there are two subslots. Okay, so it means that I need to divide 0 0.8 with 2. So once you divided 0 0.8 with 2, you notice that it is 0 0.4. Okay, it means that each line, each section represents 0 0.4. So we got all this number here. So this one is positive. So it will be on the right side. The negative will be on the left, left, right, and right. So I know that each one is 0 0.4. Okay, 0 0.4. And then because this one is moving towards the left, so it will be negative 0 0.4 and then another negative 0 0.4 negative 0 0.4 onwards so based on that knowledge i know that the first one 0 0.4 will be in between 0 and 0 0.8 okay the next number is negative 0 0.4 so i know that on the right side the first one of the 0 is already 0 0.4 means that the first one on the left will be negative 0 0.4 and to the left of negative 0 0.4 it should be negative 0 0.8 now try to guess which one will be for 0 uh, sorry 1.2 is it the first one, the second one, or the third one? Sorry, number one, number two, or number three? Okay, let's look at where... If you guess one, correct. You have done well. So now let's guess. Let me know which one is for 2.0. Are we ready? Yes, if you guessed number 3, you are correct, right? Now let's look at the next one. Now in this one, there is no zero indicating where is it. And we need to find out for each section, what is the value? Okay, what is the value? So if you notice that, all the numbers in the given number okay all the number in the given number is actually a multiple of some number can you guess which one if you guess nine yes you are correct all right so we know that this is nine eighteen twenty seven thirty six forty five seen this number before right so means that each of this one could probably mean 
0.49 okay or 0 0.9 now there are negative and positive number uh, decimals so we need to make sure that our spacing have enough for the negative and for the positive decimals okay so how do i know i'm going to check on the smallest number the smallest value in the negative side which is 3.6 now in order for me to able to get negative 3.6 i need to want I know that it will be negative 0 0.9 because it's a negative number multiply with how much do you get 36 we know that 9 multiply 4 get 36 so the same thing is negative 0 0.4 multi sorry negative 0 0.9 multiply with 4 you get negative 3.6 means that the the spaces between negative 0 0.9 until negative 3.6 i need four slots so assuming that negative 3.6 will be the last number since it's the smallest one okay we are going to put it to the last the last section okay and then the next number on the negative on the scale is number line is negative 0 0.9 so it's 4 so i need to be a difference of 4 so 1 2 3 4 so it should be here sorry here sorry 1 2 3 4 okay So after that will be 0. So 1.8 is 2. So 1, 2. Okay. 27 is the third line. And 45 will be the fifth. Okay. Let's look at arranging positive and negative decimals. Okay, you already learned that we need to arrange in ascending and descending order. So in this one, these numbers, okay, we want it is supposed to be arranged in ascending order. So ascending order means from small because A is the smallest one. Okay, so small go to the largest. Okay, smallest to the largest. So remember, if it start from small, we look at the numbers that have negative in them. So I'm gonna highlight them. So there are three numbers here. In between all these three numbers sorry decimals we want to look at which one is the smallest now if you have problem remember that zero come first then one two sorry negative one negative two and then next to negative three remember the number line on the integer for the integer so same with decimals though the smallest one between them three will be negative 1.2 okay next one to it will be negative 0 0.6 and then negative 0 0.5 we got no zero so we, now we are left with two positive uh, decimals so next to it will be 0 0.9 lastly will be 1.7 because all this decimal doesn't have those uh, similar number it is easier for you to arrange when you are looking at the first digit 
Okay, we know that 0 is smaller than 1. Of course, if it goes to negative side, 1 will be negative 1.2 will be smaller than the counterpart of negative 0 0.6. Let's try another one. Alright, so now you see that this decimal actually have two decimal places. Two means that after the decimal, there are two numbers after that. So two decimal places. Now let's look at this number first. You notice that there are 4 and 2. And coincidentally, that these negative 4 are all on the negative side. 2 are all on the positive side. So like usual, I'm going to highlight negative number first. Oh, sorry. We're going to arrange them in ascending order. Alright, so I'm going to highlight all the numbers that is negative. Right. The second thing that I want you to take note is that after the uh, negative 4 point, all of them also have 5. So it means that all of them are going to be in the same almost the same value. What makes it different is the third number. Okay, the 8, the 6, and the 1. So remember, for negative number, the larger the number, the smaller the value is. Okay, so I'm going to start with 8, since this one is the largest number of all. Means that the smallest number in between them will be negative uh, four point. 5, 8 Okay, now we are left with 6 and 1 So 6 is larger than 1 So it's negative 4.56 And then the last one is negative 4.51 Okay, well we have done with the negative number Now let's look at the positive number so in the positive number, we notice that there are two numbers that has 1 on the second number. So remember, for the positive number, the smaller comes first. So both of them 1 and then 5 is smaller than 9. So because 1 is smaller than 2 for this second one. So the we are going to write 2.15 and then 2.19 after that will be 2.25 so if you see any numbers that have the similar first few number we go until where the number starts to be different then we check that uh, is it bigger or smaller than and then we arrange according to the order that the question went so in this case, it's ascending order. Okay, next, let's look at arranging descending order. Remember, D for down. So it's from the biggest one until the smallest. So let's look. So if it's the biggest one, we're going to look at the positive number. Like always, I'm going to highlight them first. Alright, so we got two positive decimals. So it's very obvious. One is two, one is zero. I think I left my decimal somewhere. <laughs> Alright, there's mistakes every here and there. So this one is 0 0.37. Right. So the largest the larger between the two decim positive decimal is 2.3. Next is 0 0.37. Now we look at the negative number. So remember if the number look big means it is the smallest one so we got three five and one 
Alright, so we are going to go for one first since that one is not the smallest. So it's negative 1.6 and then negative 3.2, negative 5.1. Okay, so the biggest number is 2.3 and then the smallest is negative 5.1. Okay, let's try with something more difficult. Before this, you see that there are two decimal places for the ascending order. Now, we look at descending order and there are three decimal places. One, two, three. Okay, so descending order, so it's the biggest one, the largest of them all. So, it is a positive number. Let's find where is the positive number. Right, so we got three positive number. Let's check. There is two, three, and two. So three is obviously larger. So that one will be our first one. Okay, there are two number that starts with two point. Okay, so we look at the second one after the decimal. So eight and four. So 8 is obviously larger than 4. So second, third. Okay, we are done with this one. So let us write down for the positive first. Now let's look at the negative number. So I noticed that there are two number right there are two number that have negative three one of them is negative two so obviously negative two is smaller than the other two so we are going to write that one first Let's guess which one comes after negative 2.974. How do I look? Remember, I teach you that to look for the next digit. The next digit is 0. Both of them have 0. Now, the next one is 2. So, one of them have 2, one of them have 3. So 2 is obviously smaller. Okay. So I'm going to write that one first. And the last one is negative 3.034. Okay. So this is a little bit more comparison bet uh, from the decimal. Uh, sorry. From the uh, integers. Because we have to look at all those numbers. Okay, if you got any question, you can always leave them in the uh, in the uh, comments below. Right. So we are done with arranging numbers in number line, and as, as well as comparing and arrang uh, sorting them according to either it's ascending or descending order so make sure that you try out these exercises from your own textbook and i'll see you again next time bye bye